Well, I just think improv is just so good for the noodle. Oh. I mean, it so keeps you witty and just, you know, right here, right at the front of your... Yep. Yeah. When, I, when I first started in this business, I think that, I mean, I had studied a lot, but until I started doing improv, I didn't book anywhere near the number of commercials. I mean, I did over 400 commercials as an actress. Hmm. I went back and forth to, to New York a lot, and I was, like, working it. And I, I really believe, I, no, I don't believe, I know for a fact that the, and when I was doing it, there was no commercial classes. I was one of the first commercial teachers who were teaching, not the first, but one of the first. Out here or both by coastal or? Uh, in New York, I think I was one of the very first. And then out here, there was a few casting directors at that time who were teaching it. But Who did I, you work with in New York? Not for commercials. Oh. No, I, I, I didn't. Like I said, people came to me and said, what are you doing? I, I oh, I know. see. I remember the first person who came to me and said, well, would you do a class? And I went, oh, okay. And they said, well, what are you going to charge? And I go, I don't know, five dollars a person. Five dollars. I, I don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember. I mean, I remember I only charged five dollars. I didn't know what I was doing. Right. But you want to hear the interesting thing from me about that is that I believe, and I talk about this in the book, that we have an ability to do anything, act, direct, teach, whatever. We have a talent and we have a gift. Or we have a gift. It's one of the three. And there's certain areas of your life you have gifts in, there's certain areas you have talents in, and certain areas you can be taught to do anything. It's an ability to do it, right? Well, once I started teaching, and I had been teaching for about six months, it really scared me. It scared me because I realized I was a much more gifted teacher than I was an actress. And I was working a lot. People, when I came to the realization, people said, what do you mean you're not gifted? I go, no. And they said, well, what's the difference between gifted and talent? And my feeling that gifted is, is that when I first started teaching, I would say things and make adjustments and fix people and, and help them. I didn't know what I was doing. I had no clue was what I was doing, but all I know is that when it, I spoke, things happened. Magician. Yeah, it, it, but that's a gift. And I think that with a talent, you have that some of the time, but when you, it's a gift. And, and I'm, not, I'm working to be spiritual. I'm not all that spiritual person, but I'm working for it. But I believe that when you have a gift at something, you have to honor it because otherwise it's almost sacrilegious. And I believe that. Yeah. You have a responsibility to, to use act it. on it. And when I realized that I was a, a gifted teacher, it really upset me for a while. I stopped teaching because I really wanted to be an actress. And then it then over some time. So are you still acting? Oh, I still go out. To me, acting is a vacation. I get to go creative and told what to do. I have no responsibility. And you can get back on it like it's a bike, or or is it something yeah. that you go, oh, no. no. I can get right back on again. That's commercially. Theatrically, I have some people talking to me about some stuff, and I would probably go get a little bit of coaching if I got a really good role on something. But I'm not actively going after that. It's just a bit, I love acting. I really love it. It's fun. It's interesting. It's it's creative. It's in the moment. I yeah. think part partially is because you know all the traps and pitfalls that yeah. so many people still have to pay good money to to learn to learn or grow up just yes. you know by virtue of being a, a newcomer. Well, that's one of the reasons. Again, I mean, I I know I feel like I'm plugging the book, but one of the reasons is, is you even said it earlier. You look back now when you first auditioned and interviewed agents and everything, and you're a different person now, but if you would have had half the information you have now, if someone had sat down and coached you on it, you might have gotten a different agent earlier. Things <laughs> might have been different. And and I'm not saying that you're not in good shape now, but you look back and we, we're all human beings and we just think about what we should have, would have, could have done. <laughs> right. Because but, cause we don't it's know. True. We don't true. know. I remember the agent said at the end of the whole, the whole spiel, the whole interview, so do you have any questions for us? You know, and... I, just sign me. Are you going to sign me? How, how many slots are open? Well, but I didn't, and instead I said, you know, I mean, I'm all of how old, and I say, well, I'm just concerned because, you know, I don't want to be the big fish in the little pond, and this is a, was a big agency, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they all kind of smirked at each other, and they're like, you won't be. It's not a problem. <laughs> no, but I, it's I like, just, what was you I, would just open yeah. up, I have questions, and you open up this page and go, this is what they are. <laughs> you know, that's why I have, because most actors don't know they can ask questions. You no, know, because you, it, it's the same thing when you say, you, you know, just trust. Oh, that's a, that's Ill, so it, easier than said than, you know. I the, never said just trust. I said you have to learn how to trust. Learn how, I mean, but the idea is to just trust, trust yourself that you are doing enough. enough. Um, it's the same thing with, mm -hmm. I am interviewing you to work for me. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel yeah. right when you know that you. I got to tell you something. There was a friend of mine who was a student of mine, and he was an incredible actor and a good auditioner, but gave very bad interviews. And he was going to interview for a really big commercial agent. So 
he came to me and he said, would you coach me on interviewing? And I said, okay, I'd never done it before. So I said, okay. So I worked with him and got rid of a lot of his inhibitions and he saw himself on tape being interviewed and all that stuff. He went out and got the agent and booked the first jobs he went out on and is now a spokesman for for commercial. He just it was a really brilliant, very funny, very unique person, but he was terrified of being interviewed one-on-one. -on -one. So people have their stuff, but part of what you, we, you all need to know is what you don't know and what you're not good at. And ever, whatever you don't know and what you're not good at is what you go and get coaching. You know, when anybody calls me, uh, I always, you know, name, you know, set up a time, and I go, how did you find out about me? And my, one of my the responses I get that I always find so funny, oh, God, I've been hearing about you for years. You know, that kind of thing. And I go, you just had a bad audition, didn't you? And they go, how do you know? And I go, sometimes that's when people call. <laughs> it's when they've had one too many bad auditions. And they know they should have been working on this, but they just didn't think they had the money or they didn't think it was important. Because there's a lot of, there's a school of people out there who think that, um, oh, it's commercials. You don't need to be any good. You know, you just show up. It's physical. Well, yeah, it is physical, a lot of it. But it isn't all physical. And so it's important to know what it is you can do about it, not just throw it out there. Well, uh, I was going to start to mention about headshots. It's funny because uh, it's hard. It's hard to get that right look to get you mm -hmm. in front of somebody, you know. But right. uh, I guess one could also learn about that in your class and from your website, yeah. which is? CarolynBerry.com, and I spell it a little differently. It's C-A-R-O-L-Y, not Y, but C-A-R-O-L-Y-N-E-B-A-R-R-Y. Barry. Barry. And on my website, which I think is, is really helpful to people, at least I've been told it is, I have um, like 16 teaching videos that are on there, like mm -hmm. two- and three-minute clips from me teaching at a big workshop that I did. That They divided it up into clips. I've got little excerpts from the book. I've got uh, some podcasts that I've done. And so, you know, yes, when people go to my website, yes, I would like them to call me and, and come and, you know, maybe do a class or two with me. But if they can't afford it or they're out of town or whatever, there's stuff there that can help people. Wonderful. Right I now. suppose they could get a link or buy directly. They can buy products. directly through me. I know that um, Breakdown is selling it. Uh, on their website because I've gotten several orders from them already and they can go to Amazon, they can go to my website um, you know they, when they come see me a lot of people get it at that time you know it's just it, they, each product is different for different sets of people the, the children's uh, DVD is definitely for kids you know and they're mostly their parents mm -hmm. because children's children actors are to me the most vulnerable for being ripped off because parents want so much for their kids they listen to people that they shouldn't be listening to and there's in, in terms of pictures too there's a whole section in the book and in the DVD and the children's video about pictures because pictures are very important right and there is a lot of photographers out there, and I think probably only 10% are worth people's money. But they don't even know how to, how to, what to do to prepare for the shoot. There's a lot you can do, um, and the people just don't know. They just think, oh, it's just taking pictures. Well, it isn't. The right colors, the right hairstyles. Maybe you should lose some weight before you do it or gain some weight. Or maybe go get a makeup consultation for women or men cut their sideburns or do their eyebrows. There's a lot you can do to prepare for a shoot. Not only that, but how do you actually pick pictures? You know, if you don't have an agent yet, how do you choose the ones? And, and there's a whole process to that. It, it's just, you know, for me, it's easy. Well, yeah, you're the walking encyclopedia, and it makes sense that, I mean, there's a bevy of information out there, and it sounds like you're a good, you know, um, point for all of that right. information. You're a good resource and uh, very just, helpful. I've and, been doing it for, for a long time, and I, I love what I do, and it's not about, yes, it's a business, and I do make money, but on the other hand, it's a win-win because I provide a lot for it. I mean, my and client, you love it, and that's obvi obvious. It. And it's a uh, you know it's it a pleasure a to meet you, and pleasure to chat with you. Thank and, you. And uh, you know I I will look forward to to being more familiar with your with your, your stuff with your stuff. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>